الحمد لله ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان سيدنا وسندنا ومولانا محمد محمد عبده وحبيبه ورسوله فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار اما بعد فيا عباد الله اتقوا الله واطيعوا ان الله مع الذين اتقوا والذين هم محسنون قال الله تعالى في كتابه الكريم اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد كان لكم في رسول الله اسوه حسنه لمن كان يرجو الله واليوم الاخر وذكر الله كثيرا صدق الله العظيم وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم انما بعثت لاتمم صالح الاخلاق صدق رسول الله فيما قال او كما قال all praises and thanks to allah we worship him alone we seek his help and forgiveness we turn to him in repentance whoever is guided cannot be misguided whoever is misguided cannot be guided i bear witness that there is no god worthy of worship but allah i bear witness that muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam is his final messenger Dear brothers and sisters in the verse of the Quran in surah al-ahzab Allah azza wa jalla said laqad kana lakum fi rasulillahi uswatun hasanah liman kana yarju Allah wa al-yawm al-akhir wa dhakara Allah kathira there has certainly been for you in the messenger of Allah an excellent example role model for anyone whose hope is in Allah and the last day and who remembers Allah often in the hadith our beloved prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam said I have been sent to perfect the most good manners and morals indeed the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was the best role model for muslims not only in terms of his iman and worship but also of his moral character in today's khutbah inshallah I will remind myself and yourself about our beloved prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's perfect moral character with the hope of implementing his moral characters and manners as much as we can into our lives may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to adapt our prophet's good manners into our lives my brothers and sisters in islam what was the akhlaq of our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the moral character akhlaq in arabic of our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was that of what is written in the Quran indeed 
the moral characters described by our holy book was actually realized and exemplified in his person by his actions as our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would practice what the quran commands and stay away what the quran prohibits one day somebody asked aisha radiyallahu anha that O oh, mother of believers can you tell me about the message messenger of allah's character she responded have you not read the quran his character was that of the quran dear muslim brothers and sisters to remind ourselves just a few of his perfect morals we can mention we can start mentioning his blissful home our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was a compassionate and merciful father to his family his home was full of peace and love in a hadith he described the best person as follows the best of you is the one who is best to his family and i am the best among you to my family and the best of you in another narration best of you is the one who is best to his wives these brothers and sisters our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was the best teacher when teaching his companions sahabi ashab radiyallahu anhum ajma'in he would say i am like a father teaching you education of children and youth was very important for him as he worked hard to ensure that children would grow up with their hearts connected to masjid and full of love for the salah he strived to cultivate iman in their hearts and a good character his advice to parents was very clear there is no gift that parents give their child more beautiful and virtuous than good manners respected brothers and sisters the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was also a sincere true and good friend ali radiyallahu an would describe the prophet relations with his friends as follows the messenger of allah was always happy and easy mannered there was always a smile and a sign of happiness on his face he was soft natured and when the people needed his approval he easily gave consent he did not speak in a harsh tone he did not scream while speaking nor was he rude or spoke indecently he did not seek others faults he sallallahu alaihi wasallam would disregard things that he despised he would not let anybody down who had high expectations of him and he would not refuse their demands dear brothers and sisters let us take our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as a role model in our speaking and actions let us take his good character as a guide for ourselves so that we have a good character as well let's educate our soul to be a true servant of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let us make our homes be our paradise on earth let us have sincerity trust and loyalty towards our friends and families let us make our world meaningful and our afterlife peaceful let us not forget that inna asdaqa alhadithi kitabullah wa khayr alhadi hadi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the most correct of words is the book of allah the best guidance 
is example of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem. Değerli kardeşlerim, hutbemin başında okuduğum ayet-i kerimede Rabbimiz içinizden Allah'ın lütfuna ve ahiret gününe umut bağlayanlar Allah'ı çokça ananlar için hiç şüphe yok ki Resulullah'ta güzel bir örnek vardır. Okuduğum hadisi şerifte ise sevgili peygamberimiz şöyle buyuruyor. Ben güzel ahlakı tamamlamak için gönderildim. Allah Resulü iman ve ibadetin yanında ahlaken de insanların en kamilidir. Geliniz bugünkü hutbemizde peygamberimizin eşsiz ahlakını yeniden hatırlayalım. Onun ahlakıyla ahlaklanma ahdimizi tazeleyelim. Kıymetli Müslümanlar, Resulü Ekrem aleyhissalatu vesselamın ahlakı Kur'an'dı. Peygamberimiz Kur'an neyi emretmişse onu hayatına aktarmış, neyi de yasaklamışsa ondan kaçınmıştır. Bir defasında ey müminlerin annesi bana Resulullah'ın ahlakını anlatır mısın, anlatır mısın diye soran bir kişiye Hazreti Ayşe validemiz şöyle cevap vermişti. Sen Kur'an okumuyor musun? Onun ahlakı Kur'an'dı. Hazreti Ali Efendimiz ise Peygamberimizin ahlakını onun arkadaşları ve dostlarıyla olan münasebetini şöyle anlatıyordu. Resulullah her zaman güler, yüzlü, yumuşak huylu ve nazikti. Asla kötü huylu, katı kalpli, bağırıp çağıran, çirkin sözlü, kusur bulan ve cimri bir kimse değildi. Hoşlanmadığı şeyleri görmezlikten gelir, kendisinden beklentisi olan kimseleri hayal kırıklığına uğratmaz, onların isteklerini boşa çıkarmazdı. Değerli Müslümanlar, her sözümüzde, her işimizde peygamberimizi örnek alalım. Evet, onun yüce ahlakını rehber edinelim ki bizlerin de ahlakı Kur'an olsun. Kulluk yolculuğunda ruhlarımız kemalini bulsun. Ailelerimiz dünyadaki cennetimiz olsun. Dost, arkadaş ve akrabalarımızla aramızda samimiyet, güven ve vefa köprüleri kuralım. Dünyamız anlam bulsun, ahiretimiz ebedi huzurla dolsun. Unutmayalım ki sözlerin en doğrusu Allah'ın kitabıdır. Rehberlerin en güzeli Muhammed'in rehberliğidir. Ela inna ahsan al-kalam ve ablagh al-nizam, kalam Allah al-Malik al-Aziz al-Allam, kama qal Allahu tabarak wa ta'ala fi al-kalam, wa idha qur'a al-Qur'an fasmi'u lah wa ansitu la'allakum turhamun. Elhamdülillah, hamd al-kamilin, as-salatu ve salam ala Rasulina Muhammed wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. تعظيما لنبيه وتكريما لفخامة الشان شرف صفيه فقال عز وجل من قائل مخبرا وآمرا إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم وارض عن الأربعة الخلفاء الراشدين سيدنا أبي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي ذو الصدق والوفاء وبقية العشرة المبشرة وآل بيت المصطفى وعن الأنصار والمهاجرين والتابعين إلى يوم الجزاء اللهم انصر الإسلام والمسلمين وأعز الإسلام والمسلمين وأذل الشرك والمشركين واخذل من خذل الدين اللهم اغفر المسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات الأحياء منهم والأموات إنك سميع قريب مجيب الدعوات برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين أقم الصلاة